And mm -hmm. our next group coming up, and last but not least, is Safe Ride. And they are people scattered in different different Zoom connections. So whatever you have planned, please do it. And if your camera isn't working, just jump in. And if you're going to share your screen whenever you're ready, please, please start. Okay, let me just um, share my screen. So can you see it? Now we see your yeah. screen, yes. Yes. Okay, wait a second. Great. So hi, everyone. We are Team Safe Ride, and welcome to our presentation about our project, which will be hopefully uh, help a lot of people, both locally and globally. My name is Amina, and today I'm joined by my teammates, Almas and Hovlanda, who worked on this project as well. In this presentation, we want to introduce you to SafeRide, but before that, let's talk about the problem that it is tackling. Violence in taxi cabs is a big problem in Astana, uh, the capital city of Kazakhstan, and it's especially risky for women. They can experience harassment or even assaults during taxi rides, which not only hurts them physically and emotionally, but also makes them feel unsafe. This fear stops them from traveling freely, so it's important to address this issue to make sure everyone, especially women and children, can travel in taxis without worrying about their safety. So what exactly is SafeRide? It's a web application that employs voice recognition with user-specified keywords to identify potential safety concerns for passengers, primarily women in taxi, right? SafeRide can automatically alert emergency services and provide them with your precise location, which ensures that help arrives swiftly when you need it the most. Uh, when it comes to false alarms, a user confirmation window with a timeout mechanism will pop up. And uh, if the call does go through, an audio rec recording will be sent to the authorities to make sure that the app works more accurate, accurately. Uh, completing our market analysis as shown in the slide, we established that our main focus will be on women age 13 to 45. But of course, it stays relevant for all women of all ages. And uh, we have also decided to integrate our app uh, into already existing apps like Uber, for example, and use such mechanisms such as Find My Friends to track our uh, location and connect uh, with your trusted con contacts. This would be done for a more comfortable integration of our app into people's lives, enhancing its social impact. So on this slide, you can see how our project is really unique. It is AI powered. It is able to give instant location tracking possibilities. It can be used hands-free with the help of our voice and key phrases recognition system. And it's also convenient in the sense that it offers safety guidance for taxi selection uh, because it requires driver and vehicle verification. And it also has appropriate passenger behavior systems to enhance safety. We can also say that the product is both efficient and accurate because the user can automatically uh, get information about car's model, number, and other details. And so uh, it also has an accuracy in identifying threats for up to 99.7%. Yeah, and based on these features, we moved on to analyze our competitors, which you can see on this slide. None of them are AI powered or can be used uh, hands free where we excel and not many are convenient or accurate compared to us. Which, 20 is, why seconds to left. Use, uh, which is why we want you to choose SafeRide, an innovative solution to the world's pressing issue of women in taxi cabs. Thank you for your attention. Uh, now we'll move on to the questions from the audience. Oh, good. Excellent. Wow. Very good presentation. Uh, Mohammed, do you have a question, please? Brilliant, brilliant presentation. Could you stop uh, sharing your screen? timely Thanks. and also i love that you've done the competitor analysis there very thorough analysis there on different uh, variables and different aspects of your app as well i just wanted to ask a clarifying question and that is about the the safe word or the or the word kind of feature that you that you mentioned early on uh, is that a safe word meaning for example if i you know if 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 the uh, if the lady is in the in the in the taxi or the cab and she has a certain word like orange or blue and that alerts the app just wanted to ask that quick question before my next one so 
so uh, we expected to include both that feature, but also the main the main like point of our product is not only to look for uh, such safe words, because for some people it may not be like fully convenient. Some people may not uh, set set them up. But in generally, like our uh, artificial intelligence system will be set up in a way that it will try to identify the level of uh, threat and the level of violence in the language through which it will be possible to deduce whether uh, the taxi rider uh, uh, is trying, uh, sorry, the taxi driver is trying to uh, to like harass someone. And, and so the, uh, there will be a, a alarm going on as a result. Okay, brilliant. And you mentioned about the accuracy of the of, of the AI. So, would love to hear about where where you 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 folks are in terms of the maturity of this app and and the testing as well. Like, what you know, if if you've tested it so far and how and what mm -hmm. that kind of sample size looks like. Uh, like, yeah, just just basically just basic idea of how 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 far down you are in terms of the development of this app would be great. Yeah, hear. so uh, from the point of development and uh, testing of this uh, application, we're mainly focused on the development and uh, the testing process of our artificial intelligence model. So because of uh, limited uh, sample size and limited uh, sample data, because there, there, there are not lots of conversation in taxis that are available on the internet. We had to use uh, other sources of uh, human communications, such as uh, like uh, real life conversations, uh, like conversations on social media, including that where we, we can oftentimes meet a lot of violent people. Uh, so using that data, we trained the artificial intelligence model. Uh, and based on that, we made the several algorithmical checks of it and made uh, a conclusion that it can achieve an accuracy of up to 99.7%. And so this artificial intelligence model then is implemented alongside the algorithm of uh, human speech uh, recognition, which is based on the already existing models by Google. Uh, which which are quite accurate, and so as a result, we we are able to uh, to get this model working. Very good, Brilliant. thank you. Brilliant thank answer. you. Amazing stuff. Really convincing answer. Well done, everyone. Celeste, do you have a question? Or... Yes, I'd like to start off with a comment. I'm very saddened that you had to even think about this problem, um, because it's actually awful to actually think of um, women and children going in taxis and needing your app. But at the same time, I think you're very brave to have tackled it and to have researched it well and to have done um, some pretty good work there. My question then comes, who will help? Let's just say the alarm has just gone off or the safe word has been said. Do the police come? Is there a security company that's wired in? Or I'm, I'm just making that up. Can you say who will help? Uh, so let me just elaborate a little bit more on the process of how the application will work. So uh, basically, uh, if the system detects aggressive uh, profanity or other words uh, with abusive connotations in the speech, it will uh, automatically import, uh, inform uh, the user's um, close contacts that, it, uh, that they should uh, insert into the app before actually starting using it and uh, basically it will inform not only them but also police and ambulance services about the cab's um, license plate number uh, its current location with the help of gps system and information about the driver um, so all uh, due to the fact that uh, our app will be integrated into the systems like uber and other disney apps all this information is already in their system and uh, with, with the help of find uh, my friend system uh, we aim to uh, share these GPS locations uh, with um, like close contact police and ambulance. And in this way, we aim to help people. And so adding to that question, so there will be a lot of data available on the potential uh, harassers. So there will be available, uh, th there's social security number will be available. There will be direct evidence of violence because uh, the audio is being recorded and processed. And so uh, it will create such a strong disincentive to, to harass someone so that uh, the, the number of such incidents may, may decrease because like all the data is available just from the start. So it's very easy for police to investigate and uh, uh, prosecute uh, those, those, um, uh, those drivers. Great. Great. Susan, do you have Thank a question? You. Yes, I do. First of all, I wanted to congratulate um, 
all of you for tackling a very difficult problem. Um, I'm sorry, is it um, Amina? That yes. um, you had a personal experience that sort of spurred on this, um, this inspiration for this app. But I also want to congratulate you on recruiting two male team members to help you solve this problem because I think we all agree that it's also um, a problem of education as well, educating people that harassing other people is just not the way to behave. So great job in attempting to do that with the app. My question goes back to, again, it sounds like this is a very good societal app. Have you thought about how to distribute it, how to fund the rest of the development? Um, is it going to cost me something? And can I have it Monday? Because <laughs> I, I don't actually feel safe walking and you know, getting into taxi cabs myself. So what's your distribution model and what do you think about in terms of what will it cost to, to be participating in this app? We actually think uh, that it would be much efficient to implement the app, like the application that we are developing into already existing apps and like uh, collaborating with them okay. uh, so that when you open your, for example, Uber app, uh, it will be this function will be available, but we didn't actually um, really calculate the cost of it right now because we are still in the process of developing an app, but uh, we'll be looking forward. Yes. Thank you. That's a great, great thought. I missed, must have missed that in your presentation. I'm sorry. Just again to add that, just to clarify, it's, it's uh, we're going to use business to business model. So we're going to integrate it in apps such as Uber, Uber like other other truck taxi drive, uh, dri driving apps. So that that kind. Good. Of thing. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Well, this has been a very exciting hour.